Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Two Point Hospital. Bring you up, bring you up, but yeah, I want, I want happy faces. Yes, it does cost me more money, but I want happy staff, because happy staff mean, um, more treatment, stuff like that. And when you do the promotion, that also works out really nicely. I've got two of those have now been the done. The healthcare branch of the Orb Foundation has launched a new campaign called Real Doctors. Who needs them? Well, according to this lovely pamphlet, not me. The healing power of the Orb should do just fine. <laughs> okay, the healing power of the Orb. It would be great to work in a really spacious environment with lots of luxury furnishing. Something really prestigious. Get a level 4 toilets. Well, that's not going to happen, dude. I'm telling you that right now. Another surgery patient in. They're on the table. We're going to go through the end of the month before they've actually finished being treated. We've been given an official warning. Right there. You right here. Samantha Wizard is ready for promotion. We can promote her up. Like that. Health inspector, we've got potentially... Henry Jobsworth, the county's foremost health and safety inspector, has informed us that he'll be visiting us for an inspection soon. Mr. Jobsworth adds that we'll recognise him by his yellow helmet as well as his face. <laughs> he'll be arriving soon. A good report would help our reputation. Okay, excellent. Minus 174. And I've got a patient in here who is receiving treatment. So we've cured three patients now. I've got another one there ready for treatment as well i'm hoping that they will also be treated so there's another 20 grand hopefully patients should seem less Ooh. sick and more cured during the health inspector's visit they should seem less sick and more cured <laughs> that's brilliant 16th 17th i might actually get this patient through before the end of the month which is going to knock that down just a little tiny little bit further loans right now i've still got seven months left on the loans though so there's it's not going to make any difference to that whatsoever. Staff challenge. Staff morale of 75%. We failed to do that one, which is not great. And their surgery is underway. We're not going to complete that surgery before the end of the month. Doesn't look like. 29, 30. No, we're not. There. It's almost, but not quite. And there we go. That end one's out. Approaching. View this one right in here. Open all of them, and we've got Patient's Choice, Rising Star, Employer of the Year. Right, well, that's not too bad. So we've got 20 grand right there. Special report here. I cured four out of four. Perfect. We cured the entire group. This has really helped, and we've been sent a big reward. You get more for curing the whole group. I didn't realize that. We got 15 grand from that one. That's excellent. That's, that is absolutely fantastic. I don't have any more surgery patients, though. Unfortunately, I don't have more surgery patients. Now, one thing I do want to do. Appointment, GP's office. I'm going to put you at the top of the queue. Anyone for the colorizer needs to go to the top of the queue. You're going to go to the top of the queue as well. Wait, there's another one there. Top of the queue. Send all of the ones for the colorizer to the top of the queue. There. Like that. Because the colorizer is 10 grand per patient. There's another thing that we want to be doing. We want to be looking at the actual patients and seeing what they've got. So you here, Dr. Isabel Fuddle. You are GP2. Diagnosis zero. Wait, what? Appointment chromotherapy. Oh, diagnosis 100. Okay, they are off to chromotherapy. I'm just looking around to see if I've got any more chromotherapy patients that... Yes, we do. You are going to go there. Like that. All chromotherapy patients that we see, we want to put them at the top of the list. And we're hoping also that diagnosis will be rapid in here. You are... Oh. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, never mind that bit. Are you going to make it? Diagnosis, 0% happiness. But it's, it's straight grey anatomy. They, they, they've been diagnosed with grey anatomy, and so they're straight off up to here. Now, I've got 
you, Fred, would derp, and he's got treatment two. I want him to have treatment three. But I've got the Grey Anatomy patients running over this side now that we're now going to be able to start treating. You over here, health low. Your health on 14%. You might make it. We're going to keep an eye on it, Emily Orange. Right, we've got chromotherapy in there. I'm hoping that she will be able to be treated in here before she keels over and dies. She's 13%. Oh, she might. She may actually make it. Right here. She's, she's got chromotherapy. Uh, Grey anatomy, sorry. She's going over to chromotherapy for this. Inspection report. There we go. Five grand. Mr. Jobsworth has sent us a report. His recent visit. It's 30 pages. I haven't read it. One of our county's better medical destinations. Destined to be a favourite of the sickly enthusiast in the know. Well done. <laughs> the sickly enthusiast in the know. Fantastic. There. And she is going she's in for treatment in there. to sleep in ward beds. We're busy. Recover at home. Recover at home. You over here, your health is deteriorating. You are number 17 in the queue. You are now going to be number one in the queue. You over this side, you're also going to be number one in the queue. Let's just move you right up like that. So 10 grand a time. Chromotherapy patients, potential chromotherapy patients. They are very important. So we need to bring them all the way up like that right you're queuing you're going in there well obviously that was not the tune i meant to play but it seems we have one of those pesky viruses in the system wait no my producer's telling me we've been hacked it's just one of those days. I have no idea what song will play next, but I hope it's a good one. Right. His diagnosis is almost certain now. So he's got to go to general diagnostics to just finish that one off. General diagnostics doesn't have a big cue. In here, Amber Stench has been cured and Emily Orange was cured of Grey Anatomy. This is good. This is really good. If we can keep this sort of thing going along, we want to, like, pick out the ones that we know are uh, much higher on list. Like you, your health might be low, but I've got no clue what's actually wrong with you. And I don't think you're going to be able to get... Oh, I, I can bump you up the queue, though. Is there a way that we can automatically bump people up the queue if they've got low health? don't think there is. I think we do just literally have to keep micromanaging a little bit on that front. So if I see a patient like this dude over here whose health is now really low, I need to bump him up to position one in the queue. I mean, yeah, it does like knock some of these others out. So Sophie over here, she's got an appointment in psychiatry right now. Diagnosis required. She's not going to make it. She is not going to make it. Now, what about you, though? You have an appointment in the GP's office. You're going to die if you wait for the um, 19 people in front of you. So we will allow that one to jump the queue as well. I've got 20 grand there. You weren't cured. Uh, but we still charged you for it anyway. Um, that's fine by me. We, we keep charging them. That's great. There's 10 grand for that one. And then i got another patient over here. Sally Skyver, Grey Anatomy. Keep saying that I've got this whole um, low money, but it's very quickly, like we seem to be processing this nice and quick, like it's very quickly dropping below the 150 grand mark, which is beneficial to us. And then we get these with the low health, like you're queuing up for the GP's office. I, I need to like bump you up a bit. And then you over here, you've got psychiatry. You're probably not going to make it. Uh, you over here, you're heading to psychiatry for diagnosis. I'm thinking we don't want... We want general diagnosis. Right. We don't want to be using psychiatry for diagnosis. I think, really, we want to be using the ward for diagnosis. And we want general diagnosis. And we want to build a cardiology room for diagnosis. But... Uh, psychology 
pretty sure you can change it so that yes don't allow them to be sent here we only want treatment in this room I'll wait until I've got the cardiology room to do that though I think that would be a safer thing get a level 4 cafe well I, I can try I can try it's only a level 2 at the moment how do you get that up to level 4 I guess you've got to make the thing bigger, and um, I don't think that's going to happen, to be honest. Have I got any more chromotherapy patients coming in? You are a chromotherapy patient. Appointment in GP's office. You're number 19 in the queue. Uh, you're going to go all the way to the very top of the queue because you're a valuable patient. Every patient's life is valued, obviously. I wouldn't like to suggest that every patient's Please life is suspicious. not valued. Please fill out form 37B. Hungry, anxious, lonely, eat some cheesy gubbins. <laughs> cheesy gubbins, the snack for people with nothing to lose. This is Two Point Radio. This is Two Point Radio. I need more GPs, I think. Well, one more GP at least, because our reputation is climbing. An additional GP would probably help. Then we can get people into treatment before they die. Because our biggest problem seems to be that they're not getting diagnosed before they die. I don't have anybody who's able to do diagnostics either. So nurses specialising in diagnostics would also be a big boost. Our loans have got two months left. So we're going to be wanting a cardiology room. And I'm going to need to train at least one person in diagnostics too so that I can train that out across the rest of the staff and boost that. And I want another GP room. That GP room there, 15,000 for that one. Underpaid, very thirsty, desperate for the toilet. Huh. 90 days to improve things. Right, well, that's not good. He's desperate for the... Well, go to the toilet then. There's five toilets in the hospital. I don't know what else you want. Goodness me, man. What's wrong with you? I've been given an official warning. Mickey Hoofalump. His happiness is climbing back up because he's now got. He's, he's now gone to the staff room. If you'd just done that in the first place, you'd have been all right, dude. The hospital is in debt. Maybe we should take out a loan. I'm minus 160 grand. I am not able to... Well, my reputation is climbing. That's a fine reputation. And the reputation does affect our overall value. Staff resignation. Mickey Hooflump has decided to stay after all. Well, that's good. I'm pleased for him. I am pleased he decided to make this um, personal commitment. But I would like another GP's office. Another GP's office. A cardiology room for additional diagnostics. Training some staff in actual diagnostics so that they use the diagnosis rooms, I think would be all good, positive steps. But I'm just not making sufficient money at the moment. Look there, I've got that's going to leave me with 5,000 and that's it. And then kaboom, we're way down again. Ward emergency, 10 grand, 10 patients with Portishead in the ward. Yes. Patients now arriving for the ward. Right. All of these patients all coming into the ward at once. That is fantastic because I'll be able to train the whole lot all at once. What do we get for treating Porter's head? I don't even know what I get for that. Illnesses in here. Porter's head. I get seven grand. Well, hopefully I can actually train them and then we'll get the seven grand a time for them. And we don't have too many of these. The, the, look, we've got a lot of these patients like all dropping dead. This is this is really not good. Patients just running around dropping dead in the corridor. It's definitely not helping. Now, what I do want to do, though, is bump these up. Because that's extra money. And you over here, extra money as well. Have you got any more chromotherapy people? Right, the last thing I want is the valuable patients dying before we can treat them. I know that that, like, I, I don't know what that person's come in for, but I do know, no, not you, that person has come in 
There's something good. So we'll put you up the true, up, up the true, up, up the queue a little bit like that. So that you may also receive a little bit of treatment. Uh, you over here, you are going straight into the office in here. Diagnosis required. Your diagnosis is plus 48%. That's not very good. Appointment in general diagnosis. And there's only a little bit of a queue in there. And now North Orlando Flush is on a break, which is really, really bad. It's my only doctor in here. And I'm minus 173,000. So even if I get my loans... This is, this is, okay, this is really bad. We get shut down if we hit minus 300. This is actually really, really seriously bad. I've got the loan there. I'd rather not take out the loan until I can make use of it. I'm, this, this minus 50 grand malarkey is, is not good. I'm, I'm not going to get anything back from there. I get 10 grand for this patient. We need to keep looking out for more patients like that. I want more of them. We've got a whole load of these coming in and all being treated at once. So it's August the 20th. You're being treated in there. Minus 189. Colorizer is busy colorizing. There's 10 grand. Minus 172. The money that is coming in is quite impressive, but it's just not enough to get anywhere close to covering those expenses. Look, if I take out both loans right now, I'm still nine grand in debt and I won't be able to do anything about it. I need that one. I desperately need to be able to take out that loan and uh, overview. My value is through the floor. This is terrible. Uh, I'll leave. There's no point in taking out that loan for a minute. A Unable to get where they we'll want. Right oh, I know why. It's because there's a queue in there. Oh. What if I can take you over here? Oh. I'll put you in there for a minute. And then you can always get changed in there if you want to. I'm kind of hoping that's going to work. Right. Special report. Six out of six. I get 20 grand for that. Now I'm down to minus 159. If I can get just a few more patients coming through, taking out 150 These grand in loans. As you would hope to find them. Not as you would expect to find them. <laughs> as you would hope to find them and not as you would expect to find them. That is quite beautiful, really. That That is, that is quite a beautiful sentiment. There is a patient. Look. There is a potential diagnosis. Move, 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 move. Jump the queue, jump the queue. Staff challenge. Hospital attractiveness is 70%. Well, that's not gonna happen. That's just not gonna happen. I'm minus 152. It's the I... news on Two Point Radio. Chorus Bridge out on Smogley is in danger of collapsing after being struck by a meteorite last night. Drivers are urged to drive over it really fast, just in case. More news coming up just as soon as we have any. Minus 136. Now, if I take a loan out, I've actually got the ability to do something. Health Minister Tarquin Foxbridge has informed us he'll be visiting the hospital soon. He also reminds us that wasting valuable profits on patient comfort and well-being will not be looked on kindly. If he's impressed with the hospital. Yes, okay. Minus 136. We will run this for two more days, see if we get any more patients killed. No. Okay, right. Stop right there. Stop right now. Take out a loan. Let me have a look at... No, I don't want to do that. I want to have a look at the overview. 198. I'm not even close to what I want. Not even close to my value of 500,000. I will take out both of these loans like this. Both of them at once. That's given me 13,000. Now, what I'd like to do with that, I'm not going to be able to train him because that costs 20,000 to get the additional diagnostics. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to go for another diagnosis room or we want another GP room. And I'm thinking another GP room. I'm thinking that might be the way to go. 15,000 to... I can't do it. I cannot have another GP room. How much is that statue there? 
11,000. That'll do nicely. Thank you very much. Right, now go back to here and copy. So this is a really good GP surgery right here. And I'll put that one in there. And I'm going to put that. Do I want to put that GP surgery there? Or do I want to put it that way round? Because then... No, I can't put it up over to there. So I may as well put it that way round. Like that. And then... That one... Can, for now... Go out there. 15,200. Then I'm going to go into hire doctors. And I'm going to hire a doctor that doesn't have... Ooh. A diagnostics doctor. No. I'm going to go with David Bamshoot. Class clown. Grumpy. Happiness is lower than average. You know what? I don't mind. He's only 1,600. He's just 1,600 to buy. Uh, to buy to hire. So I'm going to bring him into the fold. And I am going to train him immediately in general practice right there. Trainers available, which would be you 130 and you 130. So we will, uh, you're on a break, you're on call, you can go there. Trainee, I can train, no, it's just going to be Dr. David Bamshoot that we train in there. So that's free training. Now I got $7,000 left. What else can I do? What can I do with 7,000? 7,600, I can have a very basic cardiology room. That's what I can have for that. A very basic cardiology room. So I can put you into there. Like that. Uh, that can go there like that. That's 7,600. That is all of my money. I literally have no more money. I've got to have one of those in there. I can't get anything else. I've got the door and I've got that, the wall monitor and all of those things that will benefit. I can have the cheapest bin. I, no, I can't even have that one. I can't even have the cheapest bin. That is literally it is just that for cardiology. Boom. Right there. But I have got cardiology, which is an additional diagnostics room. I've got a little bit of a waiting room right there. And I've got an additional doctor who is currently being trained, which is absolutely fantastic. Which means that we will start to get these people. Look, see, queues have immediately moved around. But it should get the people... Health Minister is arriving. Health Minister arriving. It should get people trained fast. Uh, trained. It should get people diagnosed faster and then treated faster. Less of them dying in the hospital, which I'm hoping means more money. Staff challenge from Sebastian Noir. Unfortunately, we failed to complete. Get a level four cafe. Well, that's to be expected. You know, we don't even have somebody able to come and work in the cafe at the moment, so we really, really don't need to worry about him. Now, uh, curing more of the patients visiting the hospital would help improve things. You think? Now, one thing that we haven't used is this room right here. We've not used it at all. It says nurse required, total revenue zero, patients processed zero. We've got no illnesses whatsoever that need to come through a pharmacy. So I'm kind of curious what rooms we could do with that could go Helen in there Tom instead. Soil has sent in this uplifting saying which never fails to bring a smile to her face. Life is like a carrot. It's your job to be a rabbit. Well, if nothing else, you'll have good eyesight, I suppose. <laughs> okay. Uh, really Patients sure to say reminded that? not to have dark thoughts. Patients reminded not to have dark thoughts. Right, we've got a deluxe clinic that we could do with, which does require a 3x3. So, what I'm thinking is, when we eventually get a little bit of cash, we'll put a deluxe clinic in there. Um, we have... Although, we've not really had any demand for that one either. So, I mean, really, it's, it's down to... Let's go to illnesses in here and see what we could Training do with... Training course completed. 
Pan's Lab, Chromotherapy, Fracture Ward. We've now got General Practices done, so we've got extra on there. Uh, decision Rash, we need the Injection Room for that one. Turtle Head needs a Head Office, which we haven't done. We could really do with... Mockstar and Night Fever, they're both, um, yeah, see, we, we haven't had anything that requires this. It's surgery that we've had a fair bit of. It'd be better if maybe we could get an extra surgery. I, I don't know if that would help improve the situation anywhere. Another psychiatrist would probably make a difference. So maybe we could remove that one and get a psychiatrist instead. That would mean another doctor having to go in there. Uh... So, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of not really sure about that. I do like that we've got this. The turtle head thing, we can't do anything about that until we've got our research lab back. So, we are going to want to rebuild a research lab. And, I mean, yeah, I, my original research lab, I had a lot of money invested into that one. And that was probably a mistake at the really early stages. Now, we've got this a patient in here. Reminded. There's nothing here for them now. Okay, Wilbur Basket with Hurty Leg over here is literally about to drop down dead. His health is 0%. I'm hoping that by being in here, he is no longer going to lose any more health and treatment will end up curing him. He's either going to drop down dead during treatment or that's going to be it. It's all going to be over. So, nurse over here, if, if you could help him out a minute. There we go. So, he's going to go in now. He's going to put a plaster cast on him, I would think. Start off with. Then he lies down on the bed. Quite a few of our staff have free training slots. Maximize their potential. So, he's there and he's ready to start treatment. Hopefully, he will be all right and we, we can treat him. The whole turtle head thing, we can do nothing about it yet. That's just something that we've had to accept and is just the way it is. We'll, we'll, we'll rush this along like this. Let's have a look at... Oops, uh, there. So the You're bones. listening to Nigel Bickleworth. On Two Point Radio. Nigel Forget all the nonsense you've heard so far. I am Nigel Bickleworth and I'm here to restore civility to Two Point Radio. Okay, I'm just taking anybody with low health and I'm moving them up the list. And in all likelihood eaten. If we do that with anyone we see with low health. We're close to award season. Oh. Right, well let's let's just go and do the awards a minute. Deal with these. We've got Rising Star, Employer of the Year, No Deaths, open all of these. Patient's choice. That's it. Not a very successful year. Publicity update. Tarquin Foxbridge has sent us a handwritten note following his visit to the hospital. I'm saddened to say that you're performing to an adequate standard. My professional integrity implores you to improve in every way. My personal desires, however, ask you to crash and burn in as amusing a fashion as possible. <laughs> Simply be more interesting. <laughs> That's brilliant. I like that. Treatment room. Ooh, nice. It's been an outbreak of surgery-related illnesses after attendees local town fair had their insides ruined by cake. Treat fewer, uh, four patients with spinal bap. Yes, absolutely get some patients, patients in here. Now arriving. Right, they're all coming in. You over here, Mr. Sir, we want you. We'll leave very soon. Bored and now he's dead. Okay. He, he still needed more diagnosis. Now, I've got a diagnosis room here, and we've also got a diagnosis room over here, which I was kind of hoping... Well, I think that's quite enough care and loving attention inflicted upon the patients from myself for today. So we will return next time. In the meantime, if you have enjoyed this episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.